John Rettinger with John4Lakers.com here. I get a fair amount of emails every day, and while I can't respond to all of them, I do read every single email that comes through. And one of the most prevalent questions I get is, what advice do you have for an aspiring technology reviewer? Now, there are certainly many, many, many reviewers, professional and amateur, that have achieved much more success than I have. Uh, in my year and a half on YouTube, I've gotten a little bit of notoriety, but certainly nothing that compares to some of the major guys. But I have learned a thing or two, so I'm going to try and share it with you guys in hopes of helping the younger generation or some of the new technology reviewers. So I hope you guys find this helpful. The first thing is stick with it. One of the things a lot of new reviewers do is they make one or two videos, they only get 20 or 30 views, and really get discouraged, and that's natural and it's human nature. But stick with it. Keep making your videos. Your views will gain, people will take notice, your subscribers will go up. It just takes time. You know the old expression, Rome wasn't built in a day? Same thing here. You guys just got to stick with it. For some people, it might take a month or two months before people start to take notice. For others, it may take five, six months or even longer. But if you're passionate about it and you believe in yourself, you know, it'll show in the videos. So just stick with it. Don't be one of the people that just phase out and don't give something that you want to do, don't give up. So that segues nicely into the next point, and that's show confidence. Really, if you show confidence in your videos, people are going to take you a little more seriously. You might not always agree with you, or you might not, all, might not always be right, but people want to take note and listen to somebody who has confidence in what they're saying. So feel good about yourself. It's tough sitting in front of a camera being judged by potentially thousands or millions of people. You know, but if you're going to do it, have faith in yourself that you can do a good job. Next point is, it's very easy for people to hide behind a computer and comment and hate on your videos. You know, it's anonymous, no one knows who they are, their parents aren't going to see what they're typing in a lot of cases. It's completely behind the scenes. So don't let the haters get you down. No matter what you do, you're going to upset people. You make a video on Apple, people are going to say, why don't you talk about PCs? You make a video on Xbox, people are going to say, PlayStation's better. You make a video on cell phones, people are going to say, make a video on something else. No, you're never going to make everybody happy. It's just not going to happen. And the more success you get, the more people you're going to piss off. It's just inevitable. inevitable. So just keep that in mind and just know you're going to get a little bit of hate. Don't take it personally. It's just someone typing a few comments. They're not going to hurt you. It's nothing personal. Or don't, don't take it personally. No matter what they say, just barrel through it. You can use the block button and block people if you like. I personally, if anybody leaves any uh, discriminatory comments or homophobic comments or racist comments, they're immediately blocked. You have that option. You can remove comments. You've got control over it at the end of the day. Just don't let the haters get you down. Next thing I want to say is be very mindful of your speech. A lot of times if you're talking and you're saying a lot of us or you knows, then it makes you seem a little less professional. I'm guilty of saying plenty of us, definitely, but I do try and be conscious of my speech. And the same thing for you guys I think would hold true as well. Know what you're saying and write down some notes beforehand so you don't have to say, uh, look away, uh, or this is cool, you know things like that. It makes you look a little more professional and I think people will take notice of it a little quickly. The next thing is you don't have to buy products to be a technology reviewer. That's a big misconception. You didn't have to go out and buy a new Mac or buy a new PC or an Xbox, PSP, cell phone, whatever it might be. You do not have to go to buy products. You don't have to unbox to be a technology reviewer. Just talk about things and preface it with, I may not have seen the new product X. But from what I've read, here's my opinions on it. As long as you preface it, I think people are going to understand and they're going to appreciate it. There are a lot of devices I haven't bought or haven't seen or haven't tested, but I've still done reviews on them. You know, I think that they're very interesting. I did a video on the MacBook Air. I've never owned a MacBook Air. So you don't have to have a lot of money. All you need to have is a camera and an internet connection. So these are just a few tips, guys. I hope that you find them helpful. You know, certainly there's a lot of people that have had more success than I, I have, but these are just some tips that were given to me and that I'm trying to share with you guys so you can be successful. We're all a community of technology reviewers, and the better you do, 
you know, by proxy, the better I'm going to do. It lends more credibility to the industry, and it lends credibility to you guys. So I'm just trying to help. I hope you guys found this useful. If you have any other suggestions for aspiring technology reviewers or things you might have learned, leave comments or a video response. You know, let's get this going to help people. So guys, John Rettinger with John4Lakers.com. Hope you found this useful. It wasn't just me babbling, just a few bits of advice. Anyway, be sure to check out the website, www.John4Lakers.com. And for exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter at www.twitter, www.twitter.com slash John4Lakers. Hope you guys all had a safe new year. If you're watching this right when it comes out, if you're watching this later, hope you're having a good day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey guys, John Ritten. One of the most prevalent questions I get are. Start this over. Start.